Hey guys, sorry it took me so long to get this review up. I've just had a lot going on with classes. Um, so here is the Razer Mamba 2012 edition with the 4G dual laser on the bottom. Um, this mouse will run you about $130 retail. You can find it cheaper on places like Amazon. Um, it is a wireless game, a true wireless gaming mouse has uh, speeds up to 6400 DPI battery life on it will last you about 16 hours I have gotten somewhere close like in terms of days with normal use with turning the um, battery off every time I leave it for extended amounts of time I've gotten around three or four days of use out of it just normal use so it's pretty good battery life um, as far as the wireless features on it, I uh, haven't had any problems with it. it. I haven't had any like lagging problems between the cursor and my movements with the mouse, so that's really good. The cable, you can actually, here's the um, wireless charging dock, as you can see, it's changing colors and stuff. And so, if you run out of battery and you need to use it, instead of just mounting it back on the charging dock, you can actually take the USB cord out of the dock and then plug it into the bottom of the mouse and still use it and so that's a really good feature the cable is really strong it's braided um, it's not going to tangle snag really hard to tear and that's a really good feature and then to take it out you just you have a little lever right here that you push down and then pull it back out and then it just plugs into the back of the dock. Overall, as far as how the mouse feels in your hand, it feels really good. The um, curve to the mouse just conforms to your hand really nicely. So um, if you're gaming for a long period of time or on the computer a long period of time, uh, it, your hand won't cramp up as much as with say some other smaller mouse mice um, or flatter ones this mouse works really good with the um, Max as you can see I have right here as you can see I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro the early 2011 edition and it's it works really well with it um, I haven't seen a lot of reviews online with people using this mouse with a Mac so um, this is one reason why I'm doing this review and so it's pretty flawless um, the drivers on it are just as good it's the same drivers that you would have on the um, PC version of for this mouse and so let's get into the um, driver software for this mouse So here we have the Razer driver software that you can download off of Razer's website. I'll put a link in the description below. This is the second version of their driver software, so they fixed some bugs that were in it and just increases usability of the mouse. So basically what we have is uh, we have the different tabs up here, so your buttons where you change the layout of what you want your mouse or what you want each individual button to do you can set it to things like left or right click, the double click you can program a macro to it or you can have just a single key for if you want like a single key for a game like Call of Duty for a melee or something you can assign that to a button uh, you have your performance where you can change the DPI of your mouse um, on the side of the mouse you have your DPI switches where you can switch on the fly and then you have profiles where you can create individual profiles for your mouse um, for your button layouts and then you can actually add different applications to it so you can like right click assign application your applications folder comes up and this one's Call of Duty so I'll select Call of Duty 4 and then it assigns it to it and then the check mark means that it'll automatically switch to that profile when the application turns on here you have your macro editor you can just add a new macro and then once you click record uh, it'll record all your commands for lighting as you can see earlier the scroll wheel and the charging dock changes colors you can have it to spectrum cycling or just one individual color from a color chart 
And one cool thing is with all these, with all the different tabs, you have uh, you can specify to the profile. So say when I turn on Call of Duty, the color will stay this green color, and then I'll have this button layout. So that's a really cool feature. And then over here, you just have your power saver settings. So when your battery gets low, it'll flash at you, or enter sleep mode after. Right now, it's set to one minute of inactivity. So just features like that to help you conserve your battery life. Um, up here, you can see I'm currently connected to my to the Razer Mamba. Um, it shows the battery level of my mouse, and then the little signal indicates that I'm getting signal. And if I wasn't connected, then all of these, like all these options and stuff, I would not be able to click. They would all be grayed out um, to where I couldn't alter them at all. One thing people have complained about with the uh, Razer Mamba is though the mouse itself is really good and really reliable, the driver software is something that they don't like and that a lot of people have complained about. I see it both ways where I do like the driver software but yet at the same time it has some flaws to it that can be improved. One would be with the current profiles, it doesn't always switch between the different profiles when you turn on a program. Like I'll turn on Steam and then it'll switch to my Steam profile, but then when I want to try and go back to Safari for the internet, it'll still be on the Steam profile, and it won't go back to either the default profile or if I have a Safari one set up, it won't go back to it. So that is one flaw. And that is also annoying because if you have a specific button layout, like in Call of Duty, I have these two side buttons set to R and F. If I try and go to internet, it doesn't switch back to a different profile, then when I hit those buttons, it'll do something different than what than what I'm expecting them to do. So that is uh, definitely one thing that is not very good, but can definitely be improved in a um, driver software update. For people who just flat out don't want to deal with Razer software, there is third-party driver software out there. For the Mac specifically, there is um, one called Steer Mouse. It's you get a 14 day trial and then it's twenty dollars for a license and then the other is USB overdrive and that is the same thing you get a short trial period and then it's twenty dollars and both of these I've actually tried just to see if they worked and you can program each individual button just fine but things like changing the color of the dock and scroll wheel and then changing um, the two DPI buttons um, to actually change the DPI, you can't do that because that is something that Razer designed for this mouse, and so that is a feature that you can only change through their specified through Razer's specified software. One thing that somebody has asked me on my um, unboxing video is, does this work well on Lion operating system? Right now, I'm running the driver software on the latest version of Mac OS X Snow Leopard, and I haven't tried it with Lion. I don't think that you will have any problems with running this driver software with uh, OS X Lion. Um, the main software that is affected with Lion is if it's an older program for your power PCs um, that use Rosetta. Therefore, this doesn't use that, so you shouldn't run into any issues with running this driver on there. Uh, if you do, like I said, you have those backup third-party um, USB drivers, um, and you can try that, and it should work. Overall, uh, as far as whether you should get this mouse or not, I do recommend it to any hardcore gamers out there who play a lot of first-person shooter games uh, all the time, uh, whether on Mac or PC. This is a very good mouse and will definitely serve your needs for um, that kind of purpose. Um, as far as if you're like a daily user, um, just surfing the internet, maybe typing up some uh, papers or whatever you do that's not gaming. Uh, to be honest, I think you could be better off with a cheaper mouse because $130 is a little steep for a mouse, uh, wireless or not. It's pretty expensive. So, I, with that said, I do recommend the mouse. It's a really good mouse. You're going to be very happy with the quality of the mouse. If you're buying this mouse to play games, then this is the mouse to go with. I strongly recommend it. It's a very good mouse, very good buy, but if you're just an everyday user just surfing the internet, 
or just making videos or something, then you might want to take your money somewhere elsewhere and buy a cheaper mouse. Um, the $130 is pretty steep for a mouse, no matter what purpose you're looking for. Um, it is pretty steep, but all in all, the build quality of the mouse is very good. The reliability of the mouse is phenomenal. And, and all in all, I just, Razors were done really good with this uh, new um, Razor Mamba product. So, if you have any questions, if I've left anything out of this video, just leave a comment and I'll try and get back to it as soon as possible. Um, if you have any recommendations for future videos for, to make, for me to make, I promise I'll be trying to uh, push videos out a lot quicker than what I've been doing. So, leave a comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.